sometimes you're going to have to close a trocar site that's been enlarged because the surgeons had to take out a, an organ or remove the port or what for whatever reason he's enlarged a trocar site and he wants to use the a closure device like the Carter Thomason or the WEC but he knows that he can't do that for the first one that he's going to have to prehand it because the incision's too large and if he put the cone or the WEC device in it it would leak and it won't keep the pneumo so it would be against the organs beneath and it'd be dangerous so you're going to freehand the first one and what i used to do is i would put my fingers to, it's going to take two fingers in there to help maintain cover as much as you can but you're still going to have a leakage i would put my fingers in and you have to lift up on the abdomen because you don't can't maintain the pneumo at this which is the reason why you're doing it so you lift up and i would slip my suture passer between my fingers here and catch the fascia but as you can see i'm putting something with a very sharp point right through my fingers which i have a and it's blind of course you can't see through the abdomen like this so you're going blind and good likelihood you're going to put a hole in your glove possibly poke yourself with something sharp and contaminate yourself and contaminate the procedure so what i found that works for me better is now i will go in with my fingers like this and i still pull up on the abdomen but I'm sliding down the back of my hand, fingers and catching that way. And you can see that's much safer than trying to go with my fingers in the front. And then when I go to the other side, I would do the same thing. I'd turn my hand this way. And again, I'd go this way to catch the other side. 